From taking pictures to calling friends and even ordering food these days, your smartphone can do almost anything. But chances are there are some features you never knew existed. Mm -hmm. Sunrise Consumer Correspondent Sean White has been investigating. I'm going to get you to spend more time on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, we use our phones for so many tasks, but we're about to step up the convenience factor with a whole bunch of secret shortcuts. From using your phone as a QR code scanner while checking in to using it through your laptop while working from home. These days our devices can do all that and much more including scanning. Sunrise tech expert Val Quinn. Well you might not know it but there's a document scanner built into iPhones. Now you can get at this by going into your notes and pressing the camera button and in there you can select document scanning and what it does is it actually flattens out your document and stretches it out so it actually looks good and easy to read. It's a lot better than using a camera to photograph your receipts and it's a great way to organize all of those important bits of paper. When it comes to texting, did you know you can also take these shortcuts? Activate one-handed typing on your iPhone. Enable this by going to settings, then general, then keyboards, and tap one-handed keyboard, or just press down and hold on the emoji button. When using the keyboard, touch and hold the space bar to turn the keyboard into a trackpad for your cursor. It makes it easier to change the position without tapping directly onto the text. If you've typed a text but changed your mind, shake your iPhone and simply tap undo typing. And if you want to speed up your message, double tap the space bar to add a full stop and start a new sentence. iOS also features back taps. Well, iPhones have a special sensor built in that can actually recognize when you're tapping on the back of it. So you can then apply different actions to different types of taps. So you can have a double tap or even a triple tap, and then you can use that to either open up, say, your home screen or take a screen screenshot. This is really handy and it's a definitely a power user's tip. If you have an Android device, there are also plenty of tricks such as locking users into one app by screen pinning. Now this is great when, say for example, you want to hand your phone to your kids and you don't want them leaving the app such as a game that they're playing and accessing other settings. Also, another great feature is when you're at home, you can set the phone to sense that it's at home and then disable the lock screen so you don't have to keep on entering your code every time you want to use it. And don't forget you can measure things quickly using quick measure. If you're moving house or looking for a new fridge, use the camera in your phone to measure the space and distance. Yeah, so I'm guessing you guys are in the know. You would have known all those tips and tricks. No! Can you come in a lesson after? Because I was, no, no, was going to say, this will go on the website so we can go. <laughs>